Hey, Page Chaser peeps. It's October. <laughs> the spookiest month of the year. For our October book haul, we found the scariest place we could find, which was a closet. My pick for top Halloween costume is Captain Tammy Jo Schultz. She is a boss. She's one of the first ever female fighter pilots. This is her book, Nerves of Steel. She wrote this about her experiences in the flight academy and um, landing the Southwestern Flight 1380 that had critical engine failure. So that title is not an overstatement. She literally has nerves of steel. Here is a picture of her in her fighter pilot's uniform. See, right there. I think she could take on Maverick or Goose for Top Gun any day of the week. If you want to get a closer look, head over to our Instagram. It's kind of hard to see in this spooky closet. She is the first woman featured in our motivational women's series on our blog. So head over to pagechaser.com to read the Q&A we did with her. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram to get a closer look at that cover. Second up, we have the joy of missing out. I know I'm not alone when I say I've experienced FOMO. Especially as a reader, there have been many times where I trade going out for a good book. But every now and then I take a break to check out the gram and I see all my page chasing buddies are out at dinner having a good time. That's when the FOMO hits and the only time I actually regret reading, which is hard for me to say. Thankfully, Tanya Dalton has provided a cure and believe it or not, it's a book. The Joy of Missing Out. This may be directed at women and it says so right here. Productivity expert Tanya Dalton offers these women a liberating shift in perspective. Feeling overwhelmed isn't the result of having too much to do. It comes from not knowing where to start. And for me, that's my calendar. Now Tanya does a great job of telling me to prioritize my purpose and what I should do. Now, I know I may not be a woman, but I like to think that my ability to empathize with them has come from many years of reading about female heroines, many of which I will talk about later. And Tanya Dalton certainly knows a thing about being exhausted by it all having founded the Inkwell Press Productivity Company, run it as CEO, run around the country as a strategist and speaker, and not to mention hosting the Productivity Paradox podcast. Whew, that was hard for me to say. I can't imagine how she feels of doing it all. Tanya emphasizes knowing where to start, like I said. So if you are drowning in the noise, we definitely recommend picking this one up. Another lesson in leaving the noise behind comes from Gary Thomas's When to Walk Away. Finding freedom from toxic people. We all have people in our life who bring out the worst in us, engage us in such a way that leaves us shaking our head and muttering about how badly we handled that situation. Sometimes the best answer is to simply walk away. The king of confrontation himself, a man you may have heard of, Mr. Jesus Christ, walked away on many occasions. So clearly having all the heavenly patience in the world doesn't even help you get through every single encounter. There are just some toxic people out there. Gary Thomas gives us examples to emphasize what we are put on this earth to do and to keep others from holding us back. Next up, we have To Hell With The Hustle. Um, I love this cover because it has a, a spilled coffee cup. And if anybody follows us on Instagram, they'll remember that my first ever post also featured a spilled coffee cup. <laughs> and actually I was wearing this shirt. So everything's really come full circle for me here at Page Chaser. And, uh, what Jeff Bethke is doing in this book is taking on hustle culture. I cannot stand hustle culture. This, um, this attitude that running ourselves ragged is cool. I am not for it. So if the joy of missing out is pointed at the overworked woman, to hell with the hustle is for everybody else. I know for me, my friends in finance and other fields brag about working late, not having a girlfriend, etc. I never knew when not having a girlfriend became cool. But Jeff is taking that attitude to task and helping us turn down the noise and remember why you are working and harking back to that beautiful old message of peace, which requires us to slow the heck down. After all, slowing down is the only way we can do what my favorite balloon lover's next book is titled, Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. Bob is the founder of a nonprofit global human rights organization, Love Does. He speaks all over the world and gives out his phone number to random people who need his help. I have actually witnessed him stop in the middle of a speech to answer some random person's phone call. I could not do that. I am not that nice. Anyways, let's take a look at what Bob says in his new 365 day journey. 
Failure isn't a part of life. It's much of life. The rest is just learning how to grow from it. I'm the only person I know who failed kindergarten. I'm not kidding. After the first week, they politely asked me to pack up my things and try again next year. How does someone flunk out of a class where you haven't learned anything yet? If Bob knew me, he would know that I have also failed kindergarten. I desperately needed glasses and I couldn't read anything on the board. My parents were very concerned. And look at me now. Page Chaser pays me the big bucks to give you these videos. Well, not really. Anyways, I love this message, this message and all the messages in this book. No matter who you are or who you want to be, you will fail at some point. I know this is not the first time you've heard it. Just think back to my first Page Chaser video. That was kind of a failure. And just look at this gold I'm giving you now. Next up is Synapse by Stephen James. Have you ever wondered if robots could or would believe in God? Me neither, but I don't know why not. Wouldn't artificial intelligence and eventual self-awareness lead to robots having beliefs? This book covers these questions in a riveting narrative of a fast-paced thriller, whose protagonist, Kestrel Hathaway, is given an artificial or robot from her brother, and at first she hates it. Hathaway is a pastor, single, and about to have a baby, so naturally she's a bit stressed. The author Stephen James actually did an op-ed for the New York Times from the point of view of one of his artificials who was not allowed to worship in a church service. So I'd highly recommend going to read that to get excited for this one. This book is set 30 years in the future and is absolutely fascinating. That is it for the October book haul. But now remember, we have everything available on audio, and don't go away yet. We have something I'm very excited to talk about that has gotten a lot of buzz on our social media platforms. All right, Page Chasers, here is our very exclusive content. Thank you very much for sticking around. We have four of the best classics here. I mentioned earlier how I was going to talk about some of my favorite literary heroines, and uh, we have a few of those in this set. These have gotten a lot of buzz on our social media platforms. You know, Facebook and Instagram, they've been all over and, and people seem to really like the way they look, as do we. We got A Tale of Two Cities, Wuthering Heights, Pride and Prejudice, and Little Women. I mentioned earlier how I was going to talk about some of my favorite literary heroines. And of course, some of the very best come from these two little beauties right here. And just for all of these books, look at these covers. You got Paris and London sketched out, laser cut on the cover of Tale of Two Cities, Withering Heights, it's probably Heathcliff brooding in the distance somewhere, Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth, he's probably complimenting her with a slight jab like, I love you, I just don't want to be seen with you. I think they're having that conversation right there. And then Little Women, oh, that little fellow Joe, she's my absolute favorite. But yes, these are beautiful books. They have a quote about winter on the back, which is awesome. And um, there's only 10,000 of them being printed. And I've already pre-ordered two sets, one for home and one for work. So there's only 9,998 left. So good luck if you can get one. They are beautiful, beautiful renditions of these great classic books. Now, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Instagram, and um, remember to check out our deals. Thanks so much.